When it comes to heart rate monitors, there are a lot of different options. There are some that are fancy and expensive with a lot of bells and whistles, and then you have something that's more economical. And today, I wanna to talk with you about a couple of options that are economical, and that is by a company called Power Labs. I've never heard about before, and if you haven't, so glad you're joining me. So welcome to Sid's Tips. Thank you so much for joining me. And yes, they sent me a couple of their products. They sent me their chest heart rate monitor, and also, one for the arm and look forward to diving in. I did a comparison using my indoor bike by Teeter called the Free Step and also a walking treadmill. And I compared it with my Garmin Phoenix 6 watch and also an older Garmin heart rate strap. So look forward to sharing with you about the results. And I will put a link to both products down below in the description where you could check it out and see what other people have to say about it. And the, the pricing is definitely very affordable and especially for their heart rate strap, which I find gives you the most accurate results as I think most people will find. So first of all, let's talk about the chest strap. Uh, it is uh, a nice chest strap. Uh, I find it's comfortable and uh, it's nothing overly fancy, but it works well. And then you have the section here where you would get uh, the water and you would put that on or some kind of liquid. So then it can help read your heart rate. And I was looking at, at compared to my older Garmin strap, I did notice uh, uh, comparing both that the older Garmin did give you some other sections a little wider on the chest versus the Power Labs. But uh, they, as you're seeing the results, it's pretty similar. So uh, just something that I had noticed. And uh, as far as the strap, uh, it adjusts 20, see, 24 to 40 inches, and it has a max stretch of 61 inches. Uh, it is rated IPX67, uh, so it can handle, obviously, sweat and rain. Uh, it's not recommended for swimming, uh, but it definitely can get wet. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, it is also only 15 grams, so it's very lightweight. For the heart rate monitor part, it does use your typical battery cell. I think the uh, CR2032 battery. Now here's what's really cool about this is that they will give you unlimited replacement batteries the first year, which is awesome and no charge. So, which is great, but they say you should get at least up to six plus months of uh, battery life on it. Now, one of the things that I do in between workouts is I do take off the heart rate monitor uh, so that would help extend the life and I would recommend doing that as well. Uh, it also works with Bluetooth and Ant Plus, so you're gonna be able to use multiple devices. Uh, as I connected it to my Garmin watch, they don't have their own app, but one of the apps that you have, you'll be able to use it and it connected very well, uh, and so, which is great and it just, you know, if, if it doesn't hit it right away, uh, but I found like it did, uh, you can just connect and it connected perfectly. Uh, and it does mention also that it's capable of sending signals of up to 65 feet, which is pretty far, but I think generally you're gonna probably have it closer to you. Uh, and uh, so that's the heart rate monitor. Again, we'll talk about a comparison here in a minute. Now, uh, as far as the arm strap, uh, this is very cool. This is a rechargeable device and I found it worked very well. It's got, uh, as far as the price point, it's $70, so it's gonna be a bit more, and you can see any promotions that they have. Now, I wore this on my forearm, but they say you wanna wear it on your bicep uh, to even get better results, and so that's when I did my testing, so that could have an effect on uh, what my outcome of the results were, but nonetheless, we'll talk about that. It does have two different straps for your arm. It's got the black and then this uh, greenish color, which is bright and fun. The difference between the two, it's got a different feel to it. The greenish color one is for somebody that would have a smaller arm. So you get uh, best of both worlds there. And then for charging, it's got a very interesting connector. Uh, it uses uh, this uh, uh, magnetic uh, connector and then you just charge it up and battery life, since I've used it, I have not had to recharge it. It does mention that you get up to 60 hours of battery life. Uh, it uses dual uh, Bluetooth 5.0 and AMP Plus, and it's also IPX67 rated. Uh, and with that, you would just press the button 
uh, hold that in and it gives you a color code. So it does flash purple when you turn it on and then it flashes blue when you know it's connected. And then on the bottom, you've got the heart rate monitor there. So it gives you that feedback. And then to turn it off, you just press and hold the button and it turns red. You get this vibration feel and then you're done. So you got a really couple of nice options. And um, by the way, uh, you've got the instruction booklet and it does have the card here. Uh, it just says, we are offering free uh, replacement batteries for 12 months, as I mentioned. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the results that I had. And let me uh, share my screen here. So first day I did the indoor cycling and I did it uh, four different times. I didn't really have it set up where I was running it at the same time, but I felt like with my workouts and going at the pace that I was, that uh, I got a pretty consistent uh, level of speed. But uh, as far as indoor cycling, and this is where I thought it was interesting. So what I did first was I tested with my watch. And as you can see here, uh, the uh, heart rate for the, uh, as far as the watch, the average was 120 and the maximum was 128. And this is again with the watch. Then next up, I used the arm strap and with the arm strap, it was 127 and the maximum was 158. So quite a difference there between the watch uh, and the arm strap. So that is the arm strap. And then the next one that I did with the bike, uh, I got uh, with the, this is with the chest strap of the Power Labs, uh, was the average was 112 beats per minute and the maximum was 126. And lastly, on the fourth one, and this was by the way, in five minute increments, uh, then I did, uh, I got 116 for the average and 127 for the maximum. So as you can see, uh, it was very consistent between both heart rate monitors. Uh, the, the big difference that I found was the arm strap. Now again, I put it on my forearm versus my bicep area and that could have made a difference. So that's what I did on Saturday. Now on Sunday on the treadmill, I, I did five minute walks uh, with the same speed. And there with my watch, I got uh, the average pace, uh, well the actual heart rate uh, is 104 beats per minute and the maximum was 116. So that is with the Phoenix watch. The next one, I got uh, was, this is with the uh, arm strap. I got 113 beats per minute average and 123 maximum. So you could see uh, a, a difference there as well with the uh, heart rate monitor on the, for the arm strap, which was interesting. Then next up we test or I tested the chest strap using the power labs and there was 111 for the average heart rate in 118. And by the way, with my heart rate, I do have a lower heart rate. I have kind of what they call runner's heart. Uh, so I uh, generally find I'm not, my heart rates don't get as high as a lot of other people do. And lastly, the heart rate monitor for the Garmin heart rate was 110 and the maximum was 115. Again, very similar between the two heart rate monitors uh, for both. So that will give you an idea there. So overall, um, I, I, I really find, uh, especially for the chest strap monitor, gave me very similar results with the Garmin. So if I was going to recommend the two, I would say the heart rate monitor, but um, adjusting with the arm, uh, you know, could have a little bit of a difference, but uh, it definitely is nice to learn about a new company. The fact that they give you battery replacements for unlimited for a year is awesome. And uh, this is uh, a couple of nice, great options. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I really do appreciate your time. Stay healthy. And this is also a great way every day if you want to have a more uh, accurate heart rate, if you use your watch, uh, then you, know, you might want to consider the chest strap or uh, if um, you can certainly uh, give it, give the arm a try if you if you want something that you can wear on your arm if you like to go that route as well. So, thanks so much. Have a great day. Most importantly, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.